hello viewers watching us on BTN TV. Yeah, hope you're fine still. Um, I'm glad to be back this time. As usual, I'm West Gomgua Bosco, Head Teacher Wisdom Center. I handle, uh, also teach, where I'm a head teacher, I handle the grade six, and that's why I'm here this time. We are going to look at some activities. Yes, uh, last time we had different work uh, we looked at, and we want to move ahead. We looked at animal management last time, and uh, we went ahead looking at uh, different ways how animals are cared for. So this time we want to look at specifically rabbits, okay? Because rabbits are also part of our animal environment, uh, and it's very important to note this. So as grade six pupils, you should have learned this up, some of this work in primary four. So you've met about this work. It's quite easy and good to go through it. And uh, let us move on as we go through different activities. Yes, so uh, we are to start uh, looking at rabbit keeping, as I said. Yes, specifically, uh, rabbits actually have a large group in our environment. We classified last time as rodents, because majorly they feed on stems and roads, okay? And uh, they are very important. So we say this time we check ourselves, okay? We discuss more about rabbit keeping. Yes, so uh, we can look at this. Uh, we say uh, majorly rabbits, or oh, rabbit keeping is the rearing of rabbits for domestic purpose, okay? Most, mostly, yes, people are look at these rabbits as a very small part of the environment, but rabbits are very important. They have got good meat, okay? So it's very much rare them. So uh, keeping rabbits uh, in Rwanda specifically is very important. Farmers do this, and uh, they have a number of uh, advantages and easy to care for. So uh, when keeping rabbits, there are very important points which you have not about. So you can, that's what you're saying, points to note about rabbits. Yes, as great fixed pupils, or maybe a candidate, let's say even others from primary three, primary four, primary five, yeah, it's very important. Not this about rabbits, okay? Even low primary, you have to know such information about rabbits. Okay, let us start here, go to this part. We say uh, a rabbit, a female rabbit is called a doe. Most of you might be wondering, uh, what name do we give to a female rabbit, okay? Yes, this is very important. This uh, rabbits are very common to us, but you know that a female rabbit is called a doe. Then uh, we can uh, check still here, look at a male rabbit, it's a bug. So it's very important, very common to ask, you find that they ask you, what name is given the following? A male rabbit. Yeah, it's a buck. Okay? Uh, when you move forward, we can check on the younger one of a rabbit is a bunny. Yes, this is very important. Right from lower primary, you learn about young ones of animals, young ones of elephants, young ones of, 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 of the cows, young ones of goats, young ones of, the, of, of, of dogs. Yes. Just like that, you also look at the young one of a rabbit is simply a bunny. So please, this is very important to keep on our fingertips as uh, students, okay? Uh, okay, let's check. A, young, a group of young rabbits born by the same mother at the same time is a litter. They ask you what name is given to a group of young rabbits born by the same mother. Simply, we say it's a litter, okay? Uh, for it. Good to note. Then, these rabbits also note about where they live, okay? Because it's good to look at all that about rabbits. So domestic rabbits live in houses called hatches, which is a hatch in singular, okay? Then uh, wild, wild, wild rabbits live in barrows. Barrows, these are just like, uh, these, bar these animals dig holes in the bush. They are one which are calling barrows. So the barrows are like houses for wild rabbits. So it's very common and important not at all. Domestic rabbits live in hatches, okay? And wild rabbits live in barrows. Very important not. So we can move on. And uh, yes, look at uh, some of these structures. You can see a structure of a domestic rabbit in triangular form. You can see, okay? This is a very strong structure. 
Uh, this can also be moved, okay? Uh, yes. When you come to this side, figure two, we can see the modern rabbit hatch. This, this is very important, actually, when you're rearing rabbits, I think this is the best, if you compare with these two. Uh, this is not mobile, I have to fix, it's fixed, but you can see it's, uh, it has got a distance, uh, yes, from the ground to the rabbit. That, this is very important, also find that it gives protection to rabbits from, from, uh, from predators, okay, like dogs can easily eat your rabbits. So you can see a structure like this, very important, uh, modern rabbit hatch, okay? Uh, yes, so we can move on. Having looked at these hatches of rabbits, or house of rabbits, we can look at uh, the conditions of a good rabbit hatch. How should it look like? If you are trying rabbits, you need to consider, okay? Yes, uh, the qualities of a good rabbit hatch. How should it look like? Please, uh, take care of this. For your rabbit hatch to be nice, that uh, it can support healthy of your animals, your rabbits, you can say hatches should be airy, meaning it, it should actually, air should circulate within the rabbit hatch. That's why you can see around here, you can see here, air can easily enter through, pass through, come this part here, yes, uh, not just enclosed all the part, so it can allow air to enter freely. Good circulation of air is very important in rabbit hatch. Yes, to prevent diseases like uh, talk about the snuffles, it's very important. Okay, to note that rabbits, the small rabbits should have enough material to play with. Actually, or enough space. Simply say, uh, and the rabbit hatches majorly they when like uh, play with them have some kind of tools to, to give they need to play. Yes, so rabbits should have enough material to play with. For example, small toys. You can have toys for your rabbits. They, it makes them uh, actually feel free, grow healthy. Yes, they can even have enough time for exercise. That's very good. Uh, okay, and then we can say good rabbit hatches should be dry. You should actually drain or all the, uh, make sure your rabbit hatch is drained every time, cannot wait. So it should be dry, okay? Yeah, it's very important. Because if they are wet, they can easily cause or spread diseases. Rabbit hatches uh, should also be clean. Cleanliness will prevent the spread of diseases. Rabbits can be attacked by a different number of diseases like coccidiosis, talk about uh, the snuffles, pneumonia. So those ones can easily attack your rabbits in case your rabbit hatch is not clean. So maintain hygiene of your rabbit hatch. Okay, uh, litter, <coughs> litter areas should be lined with, high, with hay, okay? We mean actually find that uh, at litter areas within the, on the ground, okay? You can actually put there, put there litter. This is very important when you're collecting manure, okay? And then uh, the space required for an adult rabbit, okay, is very important to note. The space is measured about 0 0.18 square meter. That's a rabbit to another rabbit, okay, with your spaces. Not so much squeezed, my friend. That's why I find that uh, when you do these rabbits, look at the size, okay, to make sure you have enough space for your rabbits, not overcrowding rabbits in a hatch. So at least a rabbit or rabbit should be at least see one, a 0 0.18 square meter. This space is recommendable for rabbits. When rearing rabbits, this helps to avoid diseases. Okay? Uh, we have rabbits in our environment are very many. That's why you have to note, you have to check uh, what you know, the male rabbits, the female rabbits. Okay? Yeah. So if you check on a female rabbit here, we are saying it is usually larger than the male rabbit of the same breed, so they can ask you to identify a female rabbit from a female rabbit. Simply say, a female rabbit is larger than a male rabbit if you to compare in the size. Let us check on the, on, the, on the animal hair, just in the figure three. Um, a dog suckling its young one, okay? You can see here, yeah. Uh, these are litter. You can see different rabbits of the same mother, yes? 
We say you can look at this size, it's bigger, larger in size. So remember, we talked about rabbits last, the other side, the young rabbit is called a, a bunny. One just in a group will be a litter. And the female rabbit here is a doll. This is a very important note about rabbits. So please, uh, right from primary three, four, five, up to primary six, where it's very important not about rabbits, because uh, they are part of the common animals in our environment. Uh, yes, uh, a good female rabbit has the following features or characteristics. Yes, it's very important to note this. No, uh, I can say, yes, a female rabbit should actually should be a good milk producer. Whereby, if it's young ones, they are, they, they are free, they can have, they have enough milk to feed on, okay? This should be actually one of the features of rabbits, male and female rabbits. They are good milk producers, okay? And number two, you can say, uh, can grow comfortably, yes, in your environment. Uh, female rabbits that are good, they grow comfortably in the environment. Okay, that is really not uh, being drafts and wild. So this is very important to note with rabbits. Yes, proper growth is very important. Then our uh, next point, we can talk about rabbits. We can say female rabbits can have a large litter. Litter here, we are looking at a group of younger rabbits born at the same time by the same mother. So this is called a litter. So uh, we probably find a ranging from 10 and above, 12, 13. So yes, some can be less than seven, but if at least a good, actually female rabbit should have a large litter, a bigger number of rabbits. Okay, let's say on average, seven and above, okay? It's recommendable, but yes. And then uh, we can move here with rabbits, we'll talk about uh, they should be healthy and this is free. A female rabbit, actually, which is good for rearing, should be healthy and this is free. This is very important to note. If you're using a rabbit rare, in the female rabbit, you check if it's, this, if it's healthy, but if it's sickly, you find that it's not all that. Okay, maybe first I uh, check on treatment, uh, or check uh, vaccination, but it's very important if you have to choose a young rabbit, okay? Tender age, ready for rearing, let it be healthy and this is free. Because if it's not healthy, it won't actually produce uh, to the right, to the level that you need as a farmer. This uh, can take us to male rabbits. Male rabbits are very actually important to note in our environment because uh, you can't rear female rabbits or male rabbits. So we can simply look at a female rabbit. You can see it's uh, smaller than a female rabbit, sorry, the male rabbits, as you said, yes, they are smaller than female rabbits of the same breed. If they are local, yes, compare the local ones only. You check on size. The size of a, a male rabbit will be smaller to that of a female rabbit. Then if they are exotic, yes, we know exotic breeds are majorly bigger in size. They are larger, or large in size. Yes, compare the same breeds which are local, so which are exotic breeds. You see that uh, uh, they are, this, the female will be larger than the male rabbit. So it's very important to note that a male rabbit is smaller in size compared with the, male, the female rabbit. You can see here, okay, this is a, a buck, which is a female rabbit, a buck with stronger muscles. This is, yes, it's quite clear to note this. It has, they have got very strong muscles, but compare the size of the male and the female, the female is larger in size. Uh, if you are to check back here, you see here the female rabbit, and then check back the male rabbit here, and see, you see, this is quite, if you compare the size, yeah, small size, and the doe is larger in size. Uh, okay, this can take us to a good male rabbit, okay, that you need to wear. Okay, let's check on it, their features. You can see uh, male rabbits, actually do a good rare should grow very fast. This is very important because most of the male rabbits are rare majorly for meat. Uh, not majorly like cousin which can produce others. They can female females can keep them on your farm for a long time for productivity. But for male ones you can just keep a few, okay, for mating. But rest should grow fast, okay? Yes, this is very important in case 
of rearing male rabbits for commercial farming. Uh, then, uh, should you have strong and large muscles? This is very important to note in terms of, of meat. So, male rabbits should be good meat producers. They should be of large muscles. Uh, and then, uh, we can also say uh, male, male rabbits can grow comfortably in the environment. For them, uh, compared to the female rabbits, female rabbits majorly attacked by diseases. But you find for these male rabbits, they are very strong, because of the strong muscles, they are also resistant to diseases. And then, uh, another point to note about male rabbits, uh, male rabbit has high fertility and they can have several offsprings. Yes, you can have a male rabbit on the farm for a long time, okay, just mating your rabbits, you find that they take, they, 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 they have high fertility. One can pet different rabbits, and you find that they also uh, grow faster, they take long, they have long span, lifespan, compared to female rabbits. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, this is very important to note, uh, looking at uh, uh, the difference between the male and female rabbits, having seen the distinct different features, we can see that a male rabbit is different from the female rabbit in different ways. Yes, whereby a female rabbit is larger than the male rabbit. As we said the other time, we looked about the size. In terms of size, the female rabbit is larger than the female rabbit. You can simply say the female rabbit is larger in size and the male rabbit is smaller in size. And then uh, we can check uh, uh, the round face in the females is like the block-like face in males. Okay, you can check in the females they have got a round face, unlike the ra male rabbits they have got a block-like face, which is different. Okay, yes. Next, I also see that the old ra old female rabbits have dwellers, but ma males don't have. A develop is simply, uh, we can check on this, the skin, they lose skin, a lose skin, okay, uh, just below the neck of an animal. I think it's very common in the cattle, you can see a very longer develop, but uh, rabbits also have this, if female rabbits, they have got uh, develops, major if they are old, at old age, yes, that, that kind of lose skin, okay, uh, from uh, uh, all lying within the neck. It's very important to note that part. That can give us a difference. For males, do not have that, but the females have develops. And then uh, males are more defensive than the females. Yeah, if you are to identify this also, check on the rabbits, hand them. If you get a rabbit or two rabbits, find that the male rabbit wants to hold just by the ears, you find it's quite defensive trying to resist it so much than the females which are not all that defensive, okay, protecting themselves. We find it is more of the males than the females. Uh, male rabbits produce more urine than females during the mating period. So uh, you can also check on this. When time for mating, you find that uh, uh, males produce more urine, okay, drop more urine than the, the, male, than the females. This can also help to distinguish the male rabbits from the female rabbits. Males simply can say produce or produce more urine than the females during mating time or period. And then this can move us to the criteria of choosing a rabbit rare. If you want to begin rearing rabbits, what should you base on? Uh, not just uh, waking up in the morning because a neighbor, so and so, is James or Kagabo has, has got rabbits, and also say, ah, let me sorry, rabbits, please. Uh, you need to consider some factors, okay? So when raising rabbits, check on the following. Check on the breeds. Which breed are you going to rear, okay? A major rabbits have got, uh, if you look at their breeds, they can be classified in three breeds, whereby you can have the commercial breeds, those which are purposely for sale, okay? Yes. And then uh, those are very common, talk about the chinchilla rabbits, talk about uh, the California rabbits. Jansi rabbits are just pet animals. They are kept for, they are kept as a pet, okay? Yeah, this is very important. 
Uh, because of actually of their faces, this is yeah, quite yeah, interesting to look at, okay? Yes. Uh, can move. Uh, and then uh, number three, we can have uh, the third group of these rabbits, okay? The woolly rabbits. Woolly rabbits, okay? Yeah. These are just kept majorly, mainly for wool, okay? Woolly rabbits. Yes. If you want a uh, uh, Trail rabbits for wool, majorly considered is the woolly rabbits. They are very important. Uh, okay, most of them you can find they are the, the commercial rabbits have some relationship with the woolly rabbits. Talk about the angler, uh, sorry, sorry, talk about uh, the, uh, the uh, rabbits like uh, California rabbits. They also provide more fur, which can be used as wool. Uh, the chinchilla rabbits, very many of them, in fact, they are very good as woolly rabbits. So it is very important. Uh, yes, this can we, can, we shall look at this as we move on. Uh, but uh, also, very good note. We can uh, come the, over this way and then move. So as we said, I've been looked at the breeds of rabbit. Which breed do you want to rear? Do you want breeds, okay, which you hope to provide, uh, let's say, more meat for sale? Do you want to sell rabbits? Yes, so go for commercial rabbits, which would be that good breed. If you just want as pets, okay, pets, yes, you can have the giant rabbits. They are very good for, yes. And then uh, if you want just for wool, then you can go for woolly, woolly rabbits. That's about a breed. Remember, we talked about a breed last time. We said a breed is a group of animals with similar characteristics. Yes, yeah, so those breeds, if you want to get have a breed of, of let's say, uh, the commercial ones, yes, they have got more wool, they have got more uh, meat, okay, yes, very important note. Then, look at age, yeah, if you want to rear rabbits, it's good to note age. Uh, rabbits which are very young, like less than a uh, uh, month, you can't, it's not easy to raise them, uh, but uh, if you want to rear rabbits which are good, look at recommendable age, uh, let's say uh, three months and above. Yes, okay, let's say two months to three. Two months, two to three months, good. Yes, they can either adopt the any environment. You can take them from the mother, put uh, in your hatch. Yes, they are good, they can easily adopt. But less than a month, you find it's quite hard. But uh, these of two to three months, they can easily adopt an environment for growth. And then uh, look at the healthy, he he health of the rabbits. Good rabbits to rear. Uh, check from the mother rabbits. If these rabbits are all that sickly, it's not good. They can't easily adopt an environment. So please, uh, when you are to rear rabbits, check on their healthy. Healthy rabbits are very important, are very easy to rear. They can easily adopt an environment. Then another point is the environment. The environment from which you pick the rabbits from, also very good to note. If you go getting rabbits from a, a poor environment, let's say that environment, they are not cared for, poor sanitation, that means they might have actually contracted some kind of sickness, so you find it's not easy to rear such rabbits from poor environments. They can easily fall sick, you find it's not all that good. So check on the environment, should it be clean environment? Where are you going to buy those rabbits from? Are they cared for so much? That's good. Uh, so these four points can guide us to choose a better rabbit to rear. Uh, it's a good guide for us. Uh, yes, so we are given an activity here. I'll write down the breeds of rabbits. So please, you can check yourself uh, in your books, do a simple activity here. Uh, look at uh, the common breeds of rabbits. In prima from primary four, yes, you heard about the breeds of rabbits. Yes, uh, sorry, men. So this, in your free time, yes, look at this. Uh, and then uh, as I come, I'll be, I'll be having an activity, vision work, so it will be good. Yes, and from the sample we had, you can easily uh, have this, yes, yeah, good. Then uh, we can move on to the, uh, the next part. Rabbits kept around us, it's very important not to note that uh, 
they should be fed properly. Yes, so that's why I look at uh, proper feeding of rabbits. They need to be fed properly for them uh, to have more meal to feed their young ones, to put on more meal, meat in case they are for commercial purposes. Yes, like you can see here, is a healthy rabbit, okay? Because uh, fed well. So you can see, look at uh, different food stuffs. These are cows, okay? If you look at uh, maybe here, the commercial feeds like the parrots, they are good for feeding rabbits. Rabbits can feed on different things. So you see vegetation, many of them. So you can check on this here. So we are saying that uh, rabbits feed on green leafy vegetables, carrots, beetroots, turnips, and pellets. Yeah, these are good feeds for, uh, for rabbits. So if you go just to your garden and they collect green leafy vegetables, they'll be good for feeding rabbits. Get the carrots, feed your rabbits. Get the beetroots are also very common. The turnips are very common, good. And then now uh, when you come to the pellets, for pellets are commercial feeds. They're just the feeds which are manufactured. So you can easily buy these pellets, as we said. Yes, they are very good. They provide a complete diet for the rabbits, for nutrition. This is very good to note. So rabbits uh, should have a supply of water at all times. Yes, having uh, looked at the different feeds of rabbits, like uh, vegetables, uh, carrots, beetroots, turnips, the pears, which are commercial feeds, yes, it should also provide water to rabbits make a complete diet for our animals, okay? Uh, this is good. At least twice a day, we change, the, we change water for the rabbits to avoid spread of diseases. Uh, so, yeah, this can take us to rabbit health. Uh, yes. Rabbits can be attacked by disease just like any other animal. So it's very important to note that uh, rabbits should be actually kept in good or in uh, areas that are, are maintained, that have got good sanitation, have got good hygiene. So we can use, uh, look at these, the, 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 uh, the sanitary measures to be taken, okay, for your rabbits. We can note that uh, the first point, clean the hatches and cages at least once in a week. So yes, you, you need to make sure that you can do thorough cleaning of your rabbits your rabbit hatches at least once a week. This can help to prevent the spread of diseases. And then uh, next point we can say that uh, for rabbits, we need to make sure that uh, we clean the feeding and the watering troughs daily to avoid contamination. Majorly we find that uh, the watering troughs are meaning uh, the equipment, tools we use to feed the rabbit, the feeding troughs, okay? Uh, they are very important. So when uh, you're feeding animals, they should, these feeding equipment, they should be cleaned, okay? Daily, to avoid the contamination. And then uh, feed, or feed the rabbits at least twice a day in the proper time. When feeding rabbits, yeah, we should give, give them feeds at different intervals. Not just feeding once a day and uh, we say that uh, we are safe. No. Rabbits, just like other animals, just like human beings, at least you feed them twice a day. We can say, provide feed in the morning, okay? And then uh, in the afternoon, okay? At least that will be fine, better for your animals. Uh, next point, you can say, provide enough space for physical exercise and mental stimulation by providing toys and toys to play. Okay, uh, in rabbit hatch, okay, it's good to have enough space, not to very small rabbit hatches. When they are big rabbit hatches, it's good. It helps them to get enough space for exercise, to become strong and control or provide or, or avoid uh, diseases. Okay, like snuffles, talk about, uh, yes, talk about the, the coccidiosis. So it's very important to note that. Uh, check here, five, number point five, isolate sick rabbits for treatment. 
I hope this term was very common these days about isolating. Another term can, can mean this word isolate, like a quarantine. You can quarantine your animals, your rabbits. To quarantine means to keep animals or in their different and separate structures. Okay? If some animals are sick, don't keep them in the same hatch. You have to quarantine them. Keep them in a different structure. Those which are sick, let them be together, maybe they have their nerve structure. Those which are not sick, let them be in a separate structure. That's simply uh, isolating, isolating animals or quarantine. Okay? This is very important. I can ask you, what does the term of quarantine mean in terms of uh, preventing or controlling diseases? Simply, you can say quarantine means keeping sick animals separate from me. Uh, those which are not sick or normal animals. Yes. And then when you come to the next point, the worm, the rabbits at regular intervals provide actually drugs for the worming, okay? Drumming can simply refer to introducing or giving drugs to animals to destroy or kill worms within their bodies. Yes, tapeworms, uh, roundworms, they can easily affect your rabbits. So, Majorly, but the major commonly are tapeworms, which are very common within rabbits. Yeah, tapeworms affect rabbits so much. So if they are not dewormed, then it will be very hard to raise your rabbits. Next point, you can say keep the, surround, the surroundings of the rabbit cage weed free. What does this mean? Uh, mostly you find that uh, the area around the rabbit hatch is bushy. You have to clean it That's such that you can easily avoid the pests can easily avoid the predators, which can easily attack your animals. Okay? Um, we can see, isolate sick rabbits for, for treatment. Yes, keep rabbits which are sick separate, okay? To isolate, yeah, this one is very common, yes? To isolate simply means to quarantine. Quarantine means keeping animals, okay? Let's say if you are sick, keeping sick animals in separate, what, separate structures. So to quarantine, you keep animals separate. Those which are sick, separate, and those which are not sick, separate. So you separate animals which are sick from those which are normal ones. That is simply isolate or quarantine. So you can be asked that simply uh, uh, describe how the term quarantine is used in animals or preventing disease. You can say, in quarantine, we keep animals in separate houses to prevent the spread of disease. Okay, those which are sick, keep them separately from those which are not sick. Then uh, next point is the worm. So the worm are the rabbits at regular intervals. Meaning, the worming simply refers to introduction of the drugs. Okay, uh, into the animals to destroy worms. This is called disinfect. Okay, the worms. This is very important. Not this. Okay, and then uh, keep the surroundings of the rabbit cage weed free. What does it mean here? To keep it weed free. Meaning, keep it away from weeds. For example, if your rabbit hatch is the, the sound of the bush, please remove the bush around it. Catch it, please, to make it very clear that uh, this is going to be, your worms are going to be free from the pests and diseases. Okay? And then, uh, this can take us to the common of rabbits. What we've been saying, once you keep your rabbits uh, actually safe, that means you feed them properly, you're avoiding disease. So this takes us to common issues of rabbits. Common diseases of rabbits. Just like human beings. Rabbits also uh, uh, can be attacked by diseases, okay? That's why I want to look at uh, this community and let me see how can we prevent them. Remember, we believe that uh, good housing, uh, proper feeding for rabbits, all that is a way of preventing sickness in rabbits. So, uh, in the case all that we've done, the rabbits can use the defense to a number of diseases. Which you can look at here, you can see. Uh, some of the common rabbits you can see uh, we have coxiosis, cox 
Coxiosis is very common in rabbits. But rabbits is very common in the as well. This disease is very common, or is common in both poultry and rabbits. If they say Coxiosis, we are going to go in pairs and see this. Then uh, we also have another common disease in rabbits. Yes, the tape worms. Okay? Tapeworm infections are very common in rabbits due to feeding. So you have to use, uh, make sure you have proper feeding of rabbits to avoid tapeworm infections. And another common use of rabbits, okay, here, uh, also have uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia is very common. Pneumonia, okay, this is a, this is a product of the risk of breeding. No animals with a rabbit. So it's very important to note that uh, ammonia is very common in rabbits. So uh, when, uh, when I'm looking at rabbits, I have to make sure that uh, we follow that, okay? Yes, this is very important in rabbits. Yes, I think uh, we can move ahead and check, okay? We go point by point on these rabbits and see that uh, we avoid uh, the injuries of rabbits. Can you come to this side and uh, look at each disease? Yes, we will see how is this. We look at the, the signs, the symptoms, and then we will see that we can even look at the prevention. Yes, so as we look at the other side, see the color of this, okay? We can see place here. And here, the first part, coxidiosis. Coxidiosis. It's very common in rabbits. Okay? Look at rabbit here. You can go to coxiosis. You can see rabbit. Look at here. Look at the hair. Okay? Uh, yes. You can see this is different. In rabbits, you can see those motion along with the blood. Okay? You find that middle is when they come out, the good part of the thing is good. They also lose appetite, they lose of appetite. You feed them and then they don't eat, okay? Lots of weight. Yeah, they are also they eat, they are weight, they lose. What is my name? We don't eat, but they lose weight. Yes, yeah? we have the skin of the black hair. Black hair, you can see this hair is rabbit. I have to use for food. And put black hair, then uh, you can uh, take. Then we put this in the base in severe cases. Severe cases, you can find, they can find the number of blood you can easily die uh, in the case of what? Of coxiosis. This is very important to note. Because uh, when those are treated, they can easily, you can lose your rabbits. So this in severe cases, very important to note, I will sign. You find the entire find where the rabbits are dying. Yes. So these are very important to note as signs of coxiosis in rabbits. So after having seen the, the signs and the symptoms, we easily go to prevention or treatment. So earlier we said, for your rabbits to be safe, isolate the affected rabbits or quarantine sick rabbits, okay? Keep rabbits which are sick in separate rooms or hatches and those which are normal in their separate hatches. Another point, start treatment and the supervision of a veterinary doctor. A vet here, when I have, is a, pers a person who cares or treats rabbits can be called a uh, veterinary officer. It's very important to know that. Yes, check and then uh, treat your rabbits. Uh, then now uh, we can go to the next disease, which is the, the ear scabies. Ear scabies also very common rabbits. You check uh, on this rabbit here. Look at the ears. They have put some kind of uh, scars and like wounds. Okay? Wounds appear on the, on the ears. Okay? Causing the air going to become weak and dropping of the air. So you can see here. Uh, this is kind of wounds. You can see. So we are saying a rabbit with scabies has bronze heavy inside the ear canal, which are like the wounds. Okay? Then there is a swelling and the painful air. So as you go close to a rabbit and touch, you can easily find that it has got painful ears, they have, the, they feel pain and swelling in the ears. Then shaking of the head, all time you find it's shaking the head, dropping the head, 
uh, dropping the air. She has no, uh, this rabbit here is, she has got the air canker, uh, which is uh, also very common. Air, can say air canker or air scabies. Very common rabbits. Then um, the next point here, we need to look at uh, ways. Yes, is prevention or treatment. How should you prevent sickness from your rabbits? Or if they are sick, what should you do? What should you do? What is very common in all? Just yes, say isolate the sick rabbits, okay? Or quarantine rabbits that are sick. This is very important to note. Ways of preventing it goes to all diseases. Just quarantine your rabbits or isolate sick rabbits. Then keep the hatches clean. Rabbit hatches should be clean to avoid ear scabies. And then invite a vet for treatment. This is simply mean veterinary doctor or veterinary officer. Actually, we say is a veterinary officer. It's very important that this is a person who uh, treats sick animals, major treats or cares for animals in case of treatment. Is a veterinary officer. Then. Uh, we can go to the next point, which is about uh, uh, the other tapeworms. That is the third point. The next disease, which is a very common rabbit. Your rabbits will also be have, in the case they're not uh, fed well, poor hygiene feeding, you will find that they will easily be attacked by tapeworms. So look at uh, tapeworms, majorly appear, they can appear in the droppings. The droppings, the tapeworms, tapeworms appear with the droppings of rabbits. So you can see a rabbit with tapeworms has, can show the following signs. There is slow growth. They don't grow faster. You find that you feed them, but poor growth. Then uh, there is also, uh, sometimes worms are seen in droppings, just like here. You can see within the droppings, you will be seeing tapeworms. Tapeworms, is there seen there in droppings. Then there is also an uh, inability to pass faces. You find time for dropping, or to pass droppings. Simply, we can say droppings in rabbits. Yes, it becomes very hard for them. You find it take take time, just like you can see in human beings. Um, uh, we can also have that uh, where you find that uh, in case uh, which which are the digestive disorders. Yes, you can find that uh, in human beings. It will also they will also have such other as a problem or the difficulty. In, okay, in passing out. Or feces, okay. And uh, when you come to rabbits, yeah, in a bit of our feces, it's very important sign once we check on that. Know that those rabbits are having uh, tapeworms, okay. And then, uh, death in severe cases, severe cases, you find that uh, this, yeah, definitely, once they're not treated and uh, they have been having tapeworms, they will easily die. This is quite a uh, uh, not good because you own gone losing on your farm, so you have to keep hiding of your rabbits, of your hatches. So let us see, look at the prevention or treatment. So what you have to do with rabbits, if in case you not so tape one, keep the hatch clean because poor hygiene will easily tape one infections. So keep your hygiene clean. We talked of cleaning at least twice a day, or so so twice. Let's say. Uh, making sure that uh, in twice a week you make general cleaning of your rabbit hatches, changing water like twice a day, that water remove it, it's all about hygiene. Then uh, next point we can say, uh, before feeding, yes, wash all food items, yes, that's very important to avoid infections. Then uh, invite a vet for treatment. A vet, we have earlier said that this simply means a veterinary officer, a person who treats sick animals. And then uh, the last point we can uh, look at as a common disease of rabbits. This is about, uh, it's called pneumonia. Pneumonia is very common in rabbits. You can look at a rabbit with pneumonia. Okay? Yes. You see, we are saying a rabbit with pneumonia has fever. Okay? And uh, when you check also, check on its temperature. Very important. Then uh, we can, so this rabbit will be sneezing all the time. Okay, these are very common point in the animals having uh, uh, pneumonia. Uh, look at this, okay, bluish color, okay, of lips, tongue, and ears. You look at the lips here, yeah. okay, the color tongue to be bluish, round, in the case you are to open, okay, the tongue. Look at the ears, will be having a bluish color, uh, in the case they're having uh, pneumonia. 
Then another point which is not, which is very cool, actually this is the very uh, most common point in the rabbits having pneumonia. They have, they will, they will first difficulty in breathing. Uh, pneumonia is very, uh, uh, is a problem that I will find that uh, affects major the breathing system. So they can't breathe properly. So the treatment we can check on this, or prevention, invite a veterinary officer for treatment, and then uh, talk of use of antibiotics. Yes, also because antibiotics is very effective. They can easy, they easily or quickly uh, get healed. And then uh, majorly to look at this, go back and see that uh, we have to observe hygiene, very important uh, to, to care about these animals. Yes, we have come to the end of our lesson today, and uh, we have looked at different uh, uh, or a couple of activities, a couple of uh, uh, areas, and uh, it's just good. And uh, you'll uh, easily get them from, uh, you, uh, check on YouTube, check on, uh, yeah, with us on BTN TV, you'll be getting them on their channel, on their, uh, they will follow, following, actually, make it. And then uh, go to Wisdom Center website, you'll be getting these uh, revision questions. I wish you the best.